You know, when I first read the script, I, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do a medical drama or a straight procedural. Um, but it was so well written. And then I did some research about Eric Mannheimer, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. And I think the political and social aspect of healthcare was something that I thought was important and important to have through storytelling. You know, I haven't really watched that many medical dramas, if I'm honest, so I don't, I can't actually say how much it differs. But what I think is, it's so, for Grey's Anatomy, for example, it's quite a squeaky clean hospital. And what I like about Be Bellevue, which is what it was initially written about, is that it's sort of a manic hospital where they're just trying to like see as many people as they can. You get drug addicts off the street, you get people coming from abroad to Bellevue, and they try and treat everybody. So I like that, that manicness to the hospital. Yeah, I met with Raj, who runs the emergency department at Bellevue, and Ian, and then I met with another, another friend in LA who worked at Bellevue for years. Um, and I found, I found it really interesting because I wanted to understand, I, the questions I w was asking was not really about the actual medicine, it was more about who they were and how they became a doctor. Because as an actor, I'd say my quality as a person is I'm, I'm an empath. So I, being a doctor, I think I'd find very difficult to give people bad news and I'd take a lot of it home with me. And Raj, who I spoke to, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this, he, he started off by telling me that when he was a kid, he liked to play with his cars and pull them apart and see how everything worked and dissect, and dissect it. And I was like, oh, that's how I imagine you would be as a doctor. But then when I met with Ian, who also runs the emergency department, I think he's sort of second in line, he said that it was very different for him because when he started out, he was emotionally invested. And the work that you do leading up to being a doctor, like working on dead bodies, you, it changes. And I think working at Bellevue, you end up having a sort of, because you get told to go F yourself a lot more than at any other hospital, is what I've been told. <laughs> From what I've heard, Bellevue is a place that they will treat anybody and obviously there's a long-standing conversation about healthcare in America and there was Obamacare, there's Medicare and the, the insurance company is getting rich. I kind of like the idea that there's one hospital, the longest standing hospital as well, that will really see anyone and treat anyone. So I think that's different from anything else. Well, look, when I sat down to meet with them, I did like the script, but I definitely wasn't like, okay, this is a slam dunk for me, because I was still, you know, did I want to move to New York? Uh, and I sat down and I met with Kate, um, with David and Peter, and honestly, I came away so elated from their energy and passion from the, for, for the job, and so much, when you're signing on for a TV show that could potentially go for six years, the people you work with are really important and I just got such a, such a good vibe from all of them, and yeah, they haven't disappointed, so. <laughs> well, I think, you know, when Max first arrives, pretty much all the characters, including Lauren, think they've seen this guy before. He comes with this energy, he wants to change things, but no one really believes that that's possible because they've seen plenty of people come and go and not be able to change anything. Uh, I think, Lauren respects, respects Max, but I don't think she has much faith that he can actually change anything. And as the pilot goes on, she sees him sort of stick to his guns. And yeah, I think she starts to warm to him.